there everybody, this is Natasha Wilkinson, your independent Sensi consultant from Mount Isa Australia. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. We're at the end of December and we're at the end of 2023. With that being said, look at this. My empty sparks get is overflowing. This might have been due to the fact I didn't do my normal bi-monthly or my normal mid-month, I should say, not bi-monthly, mid-monthly. I normally do two empties. I do one on the 15th and one on the end of the month, but I didn't do my mid-monthly one. We were in and out of the house, attending all sorts of different Christmas activities for the kids sporting events and a lot of the scents I were warming were lasting, lasting longer in the warmers than what they would normally because I was warming more of the heavier spicy Christmas woodsy tree scent so when I got to the 15th of the month my basket looked a little sparse as we got to the end of the month I made up for it this is all Scentsy product in here I do do my vendor separately. So what we're about to go through is everything I use in the month of December for Scentsy. And I may go back to doing monthly. I haven't yet decided whether I'm going to do a mid-month and a monthly. With my new 2023 melting plan in place, I may go back to monthly because at the end of the month I do like to compare numbers with how much product I used to how much product I brought in and some other factors that kind of take into play so if I'm doing that it may work out better that I'm doing this month so without further ado let's delve in to what I've been using the first product I have been using has been the all-purpose concentrate in vanilla mint so this is completely used up now this is new to our cleaning line this spring summer catalog season for us in Australia and we did have this particular scent in the wax bar come back in our sense of the season collection which is still available for two more days in two more days it will be folded back up that particular wax bar but as much as I want to love this scent that citrus note in it kind of turns me off a little bit so I love the vanilla I love the mint I'm just not in love with the citrus scent that comes along with it it gives it a little bit of a sharp astringent bite to my nose for me, all-purpose cleaner, I throw in my mop bucket and mop the floors with. So I do go through all-purpose cleaner a little bit faster than what some other people would probably go through their all-purpose cleaner because this can be used, I think, to make up to six, I think, from memory counter cleans. But I actually just buy the counter clean separate. And this is used for general cleaning purposes such as mopping the floors so I am a little bit more heavy-handed and I do go through the all-purpose cleaner a little bit quicker so while this is not my favorite scent I do really love the product to mop my floors with the next thing that I used up was apple and cinnamon sticks in the counter clean so this was from our Halloween collection now it's a red hot cinnamon spice scent with a little bit of apple is what I get when I smell this. I didn't hate it, but I wasn't in love with this scent. Would it be a repurchase for me? Probably not. And I think my problem is I fell in love with Cider Mill when it came out in our cleaning products. And I would much prefer to buy cider mill over this in our cleaning products. But I do love our counter clean. You generally won't see an empties 
every month without me at least going through one counter clean when you've got four kids and a husband that works in the mines having this on hand is handy for just those in between cleans quick spot cleanups the all-purpose cleaner I then use for my big cleans but wiping down the benches after meals after sticky fingers have been on walls I do go through a counter clean quite regularly so and with that being said here's a second counter clean in squeeze the day so this was in a whiff box so I've gone through two bottles of counter clean a month one in apple and cinnamon sticks and one in squeeze the day squeeze the day is a lemon scent with a little bit of vanilla this used to be for the longest time my go-to cleaning scent till they brought out coastal sunset but I still do enjoy squeeze the day in the cleaning products then we have a bathroom cleaner in Clubberry Dreams. As you can see, I've been feeling all the cleaning moods. So, Cloudberry Dreams is a rose scent. It's meant to have a little bit of peach with it, but it's majority rose and raspberry. You get the tart raspberry and you get that sweet powdery rose absolutely love it you kind of need to love florals to love this this is kind of one of those scents that you're either going to love or you're not going to love so I went through a bathroom clean in that and then something you don't see much pop up in my empties are pet products we have four cats two dogs, two birds, but you still don't see the pet products pop up much in my empties. That's because my dogs are outdoor dogs and trying to wrestle them for a bath is a lot more hassle than it's worth, to be honest with you. I do have the products, but every time I try to bath them, they run away and hide under the house. They roll in the mud while you're trying to bath them. If you're playing with water with them and just wetting them with water, they're fine. But as soon as you take out something soapy, something sudsy, to actually wash them, it's a nightmare. So, it's not that I don't want to try our products and really use them. It's just that my dogs just don't allow me to. But saying that, I was using up the Cherry Mango Blossom Freshen Up Dog Deodorizing Spray on the cat beds. So after washing the cat beds where the kitten sleeps and in his area. I've been spraying our Freshen Up Dog Deodorizing Spray, Cherry Mango Blossom in there. And it's been working really well. So I would probably pick up more Freshen Up Pup Sprays. Would I pick up more of the other two products? Possibly to do samples with, but to try, and I do still have the other two products in this fragrance because I did pick up the consultant kit when it became available in the just before it became available in the catalog for me to try and do samples with I did do some samples I did wash the kittens when they were very little in it and I did attempt to do the dogs a couple of times and I will probably attempt to do the dogs at some stage I mean they do still need to get the occasional bath I can't leave them going around stinky but as I said, very rarely are you going to see a pet product in my empties. They're just so on this occasion happens that you do. Okay, so let's talk about this particular laundry bundle here. So, this was the Christmas laundry bundle in cranberry and tinsel. It came with two washer whiffs. and a laundry liquid. On cold, I absolutely love this. You get the sweet play on, sweet on tart with the cranberry. 
a little bit of tree but it transforms on washing so on cold love 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 this on washing that sweetness from the cranberry goes and it's very tart it's very astringent now my husband told me his clothes still smelt dirty after washing with these he did not like it my son told me the clothes smelt like spew i don't want my clothes smelling like spew and i don't want my clothes smelling dirty i didn't smell spew i didn't smell dirty with this particular fragrance like the two older men of the house did but i did get tartness and astringent notes after washing with this so as much as i wanted to love this fragrance it was a no-go in our household i have gone back to using other fragrances that we do enjoy enjoy in our house and the new fragrance we're currently using that has replaced cranberry and tinsel is magnolia linen this is the empty dry disc case i am using the whole system washer whiffs laundry liquid scent soft dry discs but that's just to show what we are currently using now and have replaced cranberry and tinsel out with there are no issues with magnolia linen it's one of my go-to along with fluffy fleece jammy time and cloudberry dreams they tend to be my four go-to scents for laundry at the moment so magnolia linen is a fresh clean laundry scent with a little bit of floral so moving forward i did have to change out the salt lamp warmer in the lounge room so the clear globe blue and what i did was i just packed away my christmas warmers and my gingerbread warmer had a 25 watt globe in the orange globe so i don't like to keep the globes in when i pack them away for the year i tend to take the globes out so and recycle them in other warmers so because I had been using the orange globe in the gingerbread house, I popped the orange globe in the salt lamp warmer. It's not going to change the color of the salt globe. It's just going to give it a bit of a softer globe. My salt lamp warmer is one that's on 24 seven. So I do actually prefer to put the orange globe in as opposed to this one. I think I was out of orange when I put this in because it's a little bit of a softer globe when it's on 24 seven because I don't want to risk my salt lamp sweating and crying. And it's the perfect glow of a nighttime that's not going to be disturbing in the lounge room. And it also gives enough light for my 22 year old cat to see. He gets a bit dementia of a nighttime and being 22 and gets a little bit lost. So that just little bit of light of a night time helps him see where he's going when he's going to the cat litter or when he's going to eat without him getting too dementia and too whiny of a night time. So this is to the bathroom planner. I used up a pack of cotton cleanups to clean my warmers out. And in the bathroom, we used up a room spray in Amazon Rain. Amazon Rain is my go-to fragrance. One, I don't know what I want to warm or use. It just ticks all the boxes of all the different fragrance families. It's slightly floral, slightly citrusy, fresh, tropical. A little bit fruity and it's just a very nice not in your face fragrance and as I said when you can't decide what to use or warm this will generally tick all the boxes and just make me happy so that was in the toilet so I have a 
empty scent pack in Silver Bells that I popped into River the Reindeer. Is that all my non-wax products besides pods? So I think that is my non-wax products besides pods. Let's delve into some pods, shall we? And oils, of course. So let's try and find these pods. Oh, no. Swirling Snowflake Scent Circle. So that was popped in, and I will pop a picture up above. My husband's Christmas present to himself and the family was a new car. So he got given a choice with the new car. It would allow me to make it all nice and smell good from the inside or I could put a sticker on the outside with my details. He doesn't want me to put a sticker on the outside with my details, but he did let me put a mini fan diffuser and a, as I said, scent circle. So I put the scent circle in swirling snowflakes and as you can see there's still one in here and the matching pod in swirling fans snow, in swirling snowflakes in the new car which I'll pop a picture up above here of my husband playing with his new toy. So this is a mint scent but it's got a eucalyptus flower note to it. I will pop the scent notes up above maybe. And I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan of that florally scent. It gives it a little bit of a powdery note. I love the wax, but I'm going to have to warm the wax again. And I think my problem is I warm myself out on this scent. I pop the flower in the bathroom, pop the wax on, pop these in. And the more I warm this, the more I started to smell that eucalyptus flower. So I don't know if this scent is going to stay in my Scentsy Club but it is nice in the car and we actually did get a comment so I'm still going to work on my husband about that sticker but I got the fragrance in the car. Um, anyway so we popped this in the car and then we went to a friend's of his and she's like what's that smell? So. She now wants to grab a mini fan diffuser and pods for her car at some stage. So let's see if she does. But she loved how the smell, car smelt. So I did get very good feedback from someone other than myself and other than my husband of the car smelling good with the scent circle and the pods in the car in the mini fan diffuser. So does work well so let's pull out the rest of the pods shall we as i've got a few pods in here to talk about so let's talk about the bathroom wall fan diffuser so in the bathroom i did have make a splash going it's a bright aquatic slightly fruity scent this scent in pods is a strong performer now use them up couldn't decide what i wanted to put in the bathroom so what did i do i grabbed another pack of maker splash so that's the new ones they're the old ones so i replaced maker splash with maker splash i know pretty boring this is no longer available in our catalogue and I was kind of hoping this would come back in our autumn winter catalogue. But these made their way to the clearance as did the bar. So to me, that's an indication. This scent for us in our region, it has officially retired and didn't sell well enough. Saying that though, they put this scent in our autumn winter catalogue. This to me screams summer. I feel if they had this in our summer catalogue, these would have sold better. That's just my thoughts, whether they would have sold better or not, I do not know. But it's a summer scent to me and I only want to warm and use this scent in summer. I don't want to warm this scent in winter. Um, this was my last pod sets of these that I had. I did notice they're still in the clearance. So I may sneak back and grab one or two more pods of this 
because it is a scent that I do enjoy particularly this time of year so now we've done with the boring take one scent out replace it with the same scent let's talk about ones that I did differently so very bright was in the kitchen wall fan diffuser it's a bright blueberry scent these pods in very bright they're strong as all hell for a day or two but then they fizzle out a lot quicker than other scented pods so strong but not long lasting very bright pods and they were replaced with maple rum cake in the kitchen which to me smells like a fruity spice cake perfect for Christmas then we had in the air purifier here in the bedroom I did have pink sugarberry mint going again another discontinued scent that I don't think is coming back this is a cotton candy scent slightly perfumey sweet absolutely love it uh, that was my last pod pack now I did replace it with something I picked up on Facebook by swap cell I don't know if this scent has ever actually been in our region in pods but I did pick it up on a Facebook by swap cell group a pack of snow kiss cranberry pods so I had this going when I was warming my last bar snow kiss cranberry and all the cranberry and it's still actually in my air purifier probably due to be changed out I just haven't got around to doing it I will when I do my melting basket for January and decide what scents I'm going to put in the bedroom because I do like scents that are going to complement my wax but this is just a fruity tree scent a lighter tree scent so it's not heavy Christmas tree that cranberry in it just brightens it up and adds that fruity touch Again, another strong performer for a few days and then just seemed to fizzle out and die. But while it was going, I did enjoy the Snow Kiss Cranberry Pods. So, I have an empty one here, but I don't have a lot of place to empty it. must be still in here. Here we go. So, in the purifier in the lounge room, I had kukui and coconut going. This is just a tropical, nutty, florally scent, very Hawaiian. Coconutty, tropical floral. Absolutely love it. So that was going in the air purifier in the lounge room and it has been replaced with my last pack of pods of apple berry, which is apples and berries. So a very fruity so they were the pods that I used that now let's delve into wax shall we why don't we talk about the from our old car we had iridescent pearl carbide in our old car since gone and used up so let's talk about the bricks we also had in the old car a cashmere and corduroy carba so they're the car bars that were floating around in our old car that we had going in our old car which uh, were part of the non-wax empties floating down at the bottom of my bag as I said it's a pick and go with how full this is so let's talk about some bricks shall we so I completely used up my maraschino sugar cookie brick rich sugar cookie cherries I did predict before the end of new year this would be one brick I would completely use up have popped this scent in my club do have another two bricks of this because I love this scent that much you're probably going to see this quite regularly in my empties because I just like this scent and I crave this scent now another kind of black market shop for me because it's not available here in Australia and it was purchased on the black market last year Christmas time I hunt for 
eggnog scents. I will hunt vendors out at Christmas time just so I can have an eggnog scent too warm at Christmas. So I did pick up on the black market last year a brick of spiced eggnog. I only went through two cubes of it last year because we did go away last Christmas. But this Christmas we were home, so I did go through one, two, three, four cubes over this Christmas melting period. This is so good. These are the type of scents I wish would come to our catalogue. So good. I wish those scents would come to our catalogue. I kind of feel for Christmas time, they ditched our whole holiday section in the catalogue. Previously in our spring summer catalogue, we had all your fragrance families and because spring summer is in our Christmas, we also had a section called holiday section, which is all your Christmassy scent. I kind of wish they kept that, but vamped it up a little bit. For me, I feel at Christmas time, you need one eggnog scent, you need one good tree scent, one good peppermint scent, one good cranberry scent, and then a good bakery scent, other than eggnog. That's going to hit the all round, I guess, Christmas scents and a cinnamon scent as well. So there are six scents that I feel to me represent a traditional Christmas. But maybe throw in something a little bit untraditional for our hotter weather as well in that as well. So I kind of feel that they neglect that whole holiday area. I mean they just ditched it out of our catalogue thinking we don't need it and have scattered those type of scents just throughout their normal fragrance families. But for me, I'm very seasonal and I do like to warm Christmas scents at Christmas time. So, delving on to other wax. So let's talk about other wax I did get through. So, this one's interesting. So, we had as our sense of the season come back, Crimson Berry Christmas. So I've gone through two bars of this and I purchased one with my consultant pack Scent of the Seasons kit, which was this packaging that the Scent of the Season was done in for this year. And then when the Scent of the Season became available to purchase for the general public, I purchased another one because the other bar I had I used for samples. And I wanted to warm it in my open concept area, which takes two bars. It's a beautiful scent and it went into my Sensu Club, but it takes two bars. And we had this scent in 2022 as our home for, not 2022, in 2020, as our home for the holidays collection. So that's when we originally had this scent and they've brought it back this year in our Sense of the Season collection. But 1st of January, when I repurchased my second one, so I could warm the two through the open concept area as I did, I got my bar. And they must have had some old bars hiding in the warehouse because I got one from when it was home for the holidays in 2020. So as you can see, you can see the different packaging labels on them. I mean, it still smelled good. So I wasn't complaining. And you can see it was an older pour because it doesn't have the fragrance families. And it's a little bit more cloudy as you can see it still smelt really good this has since gone into my club on a quarterly basis so i do skip one of my club shipments in the three months throughout a 12 month period so by the time christmas rolls around again i will have three more of these bars that i can enjoy at Christmas time but it is beautiful it's a bakery cinnamon so it's a sweet cinnamon with 
the sweet tart cranberry and then it's got apple so it kind of adds to that sweetness absolutely love this performs really well in open concept areas if you're looking for something that's not going to be too heavy hitting on the spice or too heavy with the spice but you still want it to feel like Christmas with a little bit of spice this scent is perfect for that it's fruity but it's still got that Christmas vibe going so next up in the open concept area since we're talking open concept area we will go through the open concept area bars first if I can find them I went through two bars of Disney season of magic this is tree it is a pine tree but then it's got berries and it's got sugar and it's got fruit so even though it's not a light tree scent it comes across sweet and sugary so really really good another one I stuck in my Scentsy Club to get on a quarterly basis so I will be expecting three bars by the time Christmas rolls again round again for my Christmas collection so I will have three bars of Crimson Berry Christmas for next Christmas and three bars of Disney Season of Magic for next Christmas so I'm going to have six bars to enjoy basically of scents that I really enjoy at Christmas time for Christmas next year so these scents I probably won't use when the Scentsy Club shipments come throughout the year they will be saved for Christmas so what else did I warm in open concept area so I warmed Lou Christmas in the open concept area if you watched my melting basket for November December I had four of these so this is the second one I got through this season and I have two left I got through all but two and I have popped those two away they won't be touched again till next Christmas if this were to come back would go into my Christmas I guess melting club where I get three a year but I do have two that I will enjoy next year so this is Christmas tree a little bit of orange cinnamon and spice so this is a little bit more of a heavier tree scent lasts for ages but that cinnamon spice just a, a really nice sweetness to it so what else did I warm in the open concept area so I went through a bar of December scent or this current month for another two days scent of the month cinnamon pine cones so this is a total scent memory for me so you've quite often heard me talk about my grandmother's gardenia tree outside of her house and how lush gardenia smells exactly like her gardenia tree well let me explain a little bit more about what her house was like before she passed away so she actually lived in a mobile home in a caravan park and the gardenia tree so she had a big block that she was a permanent resident on with her mobile home so she had a mobile home and then she had this block beside her that she converted into her garden because she loved gardening but as you walked up the front veranda that was where her garden double gardenia tree was and you could smell it outside her kitchen window in her little mobile home and on the veranda it overlooked just across the road was the tennis courts and the swimming pools of this mobile home caravan park area but as you come into the mobile home caravan park area to the entrance the actual facility that wasn't like the private parts the gardening of those actual facilities were pine cone trees pine trees and at christmas time the pine cones would fall onto the road as you're going in there and i remember as a kid 
collecting them and bringing them home and painting them up for Christmas, using them as Christmas tree decorations for mum to put on the Christmas tree. Obviously she'd throw them out at the end of Christmas because at that stage I didn't know you were meant to treat your pine cones so the little bugs didn't come out and that they were probably living with all bugs. But this smells like the damp pine cones that I pick up off that caravan ground. You got that earthy smell and that sweetness of the pine cones. So it just brings back memories of me collecting those pine cones at my grandmother's house. While I love this scent and it brings back that scent memory, I don't know this is one I would put in my club. I don't think I'd reach for it enough to want it in my club, but I do have, I think, two bars left from my scent of the month kit, which I have tucked away and I will definitely use again next Christmas just to enjoy that scent memory again. Lush Gardenia is something if it did come back I would pop into my club for that scent memory. This is a scent memory I do enjoy. Probably pick up more bars if I were to run out but I've still got two bars and that will be enough to get me through next Christmas because it's not something that I would reach for constantly. Then we have Sweet Orange and Evergreen which was also warmed in the main area. So this is a little bit astringent to my nose. I definitely prefer the other brick icicles in Evergreen that we got. It's a little bit sweeter. Didn't hate this. This was the scent of the month for November. So I did get through the rest of my kit and use it up. I just yeah. prefer icicles in Evergreen, which is in my club. So not a repurchase for me. Was that the rest of the open concept areas? No, I used that. No, that was, yes, this was in the open concept area. Black Forest and Pine. So this was a scent of the month, I think, from November 2021. Last year, I think it was. And I think it was November or October, something like that. This is another pine tree scent. I get more like the embers from a fire. I get a little bit of a incense note when I smell black forest and pine. Didn't altogether hate it, didn't altogether love it. It was one of those scents I could take or leave. Hollyberry cinnamon was in our open concept area as well. I picked this up from the clearance section. On cold, I'm not the biggest fan. On warm, I liked it a little bit more. It's a little bit astringent to me on cold, but that berry note adds a little bit more of a sweetness on warm. Again, not something that I'd go out of my way to purchase again. It was another take it or leave it scent. Then I got through Wild for Four from the Halloween collection. I picked this up in our cyber sale when I picked up the Harvest 3 pack. Love the other two scents. Not the biggest fan of this. Again, a little bit too sharp and astringent. That citrus note comes across too sharp and astringent to me, mixed with tree. So, not a repurchase for me. So, I think that was what I warmed in my open concept area. Moving on to the kitchen. So, in the kitchen, I went through a bar of mixed berry pavlova. This was from a previous bring back my bar. It's marshmallows and berries. It's beautiful. If this were to come back, it would go in my club. At the time, I had so much in my club. This just didn't make the cut in that bring back my bar. But then I warmed through my last two bars over this Christmas and really, really enjoyed it and wish I had popped it in my club. Absolutely love it. Went through a bar of maple rum cake in my club on a bi-monthly basis. It smells like a spiced fruit cake to me. Again, 
am in love with it and will not be leaving my club anytime soon. And then on Christmas Eve, another bar I picked up on a buy swap sell site, never been available here in our region, was a bar of cookies for Santa. This is sugar cookie amped up on steroids. It is rich, it is heavy, it is gooey, it is bakery. I really did enjoy that. So that was what was in the kitchen area. And next we have what was in the bedroom. So in the bedroom I went through a bar of Sensepirations candy cane buttercream. This is a softer scent but I enjoy it in the bedroom. If you're looking for something softer for the bedroom and wanting that minty type note, a little bit of bakery, a little bit of smoothness from the vanilla, perfect for that. It is retiring at the end of the month. This is in my bi-monthly club. And next, I went through a bar of Olof warm hugs. I was kind of using my bedroom as the. I do apologise if he's too noisy. I was using my bedroom as my break point from those heavy hitting spice and tree scents. So I was warming a lot of minty, cool, refreshing, blending scents in my bedroom just to get a break from those heavy tree scents. Olof warm hugs is a. Smooth buttermint scent in my bi monthly club, there to stay forever. Absolutely love it in my bedroom. I had in the bedroom going snow kissed cranberry. Look how gooey that bar is. So, this was a scent of the season or a home for the holidays from 2020. If it were to come back, it would probably go into my club because this is a tree scent, but it's a light, bright, pretty <coughs> tree scent. Perfect for our summers here in Australia, but still giving those summery vibes. And it's a little bit perfumey too, so it was perfect for the bedroom. So were they the only bedroom scents I wore? Yes, they were the only bedroom scents. No, I went through a bar of Joy and Wonder in the bedroom as well. So these were Christmas fruits cranberries, a little bit floral, a little bit perfumey, a little bit cinnamony, really, really nice. Joy and Wonder, I believe this was from the last Christmas collection in last year. So that was quite enjoyable too. So, very blessed. So I believe I did very blessed in the main open concept area, which I miss talking about in the open concept area. It's a very tart winter berry scent. My teenage son thinks it smells like candy. He absolutely enjoys this scent. I'm not the biggest fan of all of that scent. So, this was in the open concept area too. And it was a really, really good mixture. So I was experimenting, trying to get some summery bakery scents going. And I was trying to create a boysenberry type ice cream scent. So I had mixing vanilla bean buttercream and black raspberry and vanilla. Two staples in our catalogue really really enjoyed this it was a nice break from all those heavy tree cinnamon scents it was fruity but bakery absolutely enjoyed this I absolutely recommend this mix as I said there are two staples in our catalog absolutely perfect in the bathroom and laundry I had Marty Pine going that's just a pure pine tree. If you want pure, 
heavy pine tree. Go Marty Pine. So, I did samples with pineapple rose. As you can see, I've still got two cubes left. This is going to go in the shed. I just can't do this scent. This, I love rose scents. I'm picky with my pineapple scents. But when they combine these two, I just, I just don't like the combination. If it was just the rose without the pineapple, I would enjoy it. You can smell that powdery rose. But then there's this sour note to this pineapple and it just doesn't mix well with that powdery floral. I do not like it. I've got seven bars to, no, I've got eight bars to get. Seven now because I'm down, I'm gonna count this as a bar used. These last two, after making samples, are going to go into my shed. So I've got another seven bars to lose up. Do not like it. So, they are the bars I use. Let's talk about all these little sample things I've been trying to get through. To clear out before the new catalogue starts of older scents. So, this was Mineral Oasis. Clothesline, Summer Rain, and Summer Rain. So I had this going, did I have this going in, I think I had this going in the bathroom and laundry. It was just a really nice, fresh combination of scents. Then I had Red Pear and Pomegranate, Totally Mini, Oh Boy, and Oh Snapdragon going in my daughter's room very good free combination then I had thank you baby then I had Bloomin' Beach, Peony Petals Hibiscus Water and Bloomin' Beach going in my bedroom here a nice bright summery floral combination can I have that please so then I had coconut oil and linen, saddle up, jade and jasmine, and world traveler. Now, that was going to be either a combination that I was going to hate or I was going to love. So I popped it in the shed thinking maybe they were going to work out really well this combination was fantastic i have a bar of jade and jasmine left and i have a bar of coconut oil and linen i don't have world traveler no i have a bar of saddle up on jade and jasmine i don't have world traveler and i don't have coconut oil and linen but i'm thinking mix those two with another coconut scent so it took those Colony notes and added like this leathery, summery, suntanny, masculine itty to it. Really, really 50 shades of grey. Really sexy. Really fantastic. So, here comes the sunflowers. My daughter's room. Just a bright sunflower. This child is just grabbing everything here, so I'm hoping I don't miss anything here with you guys. Iridescent pearl was going in the bathroom again, clean and fresh, slightly tropical, slightly floral. Let's escape. I think I had this in the shed. So this was Incensey Perfumey. It might have even been in the boys' room, actually. I think I put this in the boys' room. Incensey Perfumey. It was from our catalogue last season. He did take something. He took my sun-ripened berry. So I did use up a scent pot of sun-ripened berry somewhere at some stage. And currently, I have going in my kitchen... I'm trying out the mango margarita with a lime scent. That's not scentsy. 
but I'm trying out the Mango Margarita from our December Whiff box. And I am really enjoying that Mango Margarita sample. It's not a sweet scent by any means, but it's a bright, fruity, yeah. cocktail-y scent. You really get that margarita in that, and I think the mango just adding this bright fruit, so it's not a over-ripened mango or a very sweet mango by any means, but it's really good for a hot summer's day. So, let's talk about some oils. So, I was telling you about the Swelling Snowflakes fragrance flower that I popped in the bathroom. So. I had that going at my vendor event in December, early December, and it's currently in the bathroom now. This fragrance flower is strong. It fills up the bathroom with this scent. And I think that's why I kind of got sick of this scent because fragrance flowers for me, I don't definitely get them as strong as what this one has, but this is hard hitting strong in that bathroom. It's filling up that whole toilet area which has never really happened for me with my favourite star. So it's a good little performance while in Snowflakes. And I do have three oils that I have been diffusing. So, toasted vanilla and cranberry has been going with all my cranberry fruity scents. I've got enough for maybe one or two diffusings left in this little sampler kit. But if you saw the unboxing of my Scentsy Club, you know I picked up a large one of this because this is the perfect Christmas oil. Absolutely beautiful with all your cranberry Christmas scents and I did not want to be out this oil for Christmas. Another one that I warm a lot around Christmas time and tend to not warm any other time of the year is cinnamon, cherry and vanilla. It has retired from our catalogue so I've got this half a bottle left and another full bottle that I've been hoarding because again I go crazy for this scent at Christmas time. It's the perfect blend of cinnamon, cherry and vanilla. They've just got it down packed perfect. Diffuse this at the same time as your warming maraschino sugar cookie and you will thank me. This is the uh, best combination ever. Absolutely love it. And currently I've got diffusing with my little lime mango margarita mix because as you can see, we've come out of Christmas. I'm over all those heavy hitting, hard, spicy tree scents. I'm just over them. We're in summer here. It's hot. And I want fruity, I want tropical, I want summer scent. So this combination I have going at the moment is bright and it's fresh. But I wanted an oil to match it because I love my diffusing to complement my wax. So I have going at the moment ginger tea and lime. And I'm pleasantly surprised by this. I thought this would be an oil I wouldn't enjoy. Tea scents to me in oils, in wax bars, sometimes come across a little sharp and astringent to my nose. But this is just bright and zesty and citrusy. But it's not citrusy in a sharp, astringent way that I don't like the citrus scent. I get the brightness, I get the fresh of vibrance from this. So I am quite enjoying ginger tea and lime. Am I enjoying it enough that I would go out and purchase a big bottle? Probably not. I don't think I would use it that regularly, but I will definitely enjoy the rest of this. And if it were to come on clearance, maybe I would buy a big bottle, but it's not something that I feel like I would reach for constantly. So I think it's more one of those scents. I will enjoy it while I have it. And we are back to a empty basket ready to begin for J 
January. But before we go, let's talk about numbers here. So, I warmed through this month 31 bars and one brick. But I did also work on a, another brick. But for argument's sake, we're going to say I got through a full 31 bars. I did, however, purchase 39 bars. So my purchase was over what I warmed through. If I include the bricks, I would be about on par. But before the end of the month, I've got two more days and there are a couple of scents that are retiring or being folded back up, which I'm considering maybe picking up a few of those bars. So that 39 could still potentially go up a bit. Saying that, let's do some numbers of projections, okay? So, while well, my purchase outweighed my warming, not what I really want to do. Out of the selection of scents that I went through, I have currently in my club six of those scents. They include Season of Magic, Olaf Warm Hugs, Crimson Berry Christmas, Candy Cane Buttercream, Maraschino Sugar Cookie, and Maple Rum Cake. So those scents are in my club and will continue to come to me on a reoccurring basis. There were three scents out of those scents that I warmed that if they were to come back, I would probably club on a quarterly or a bi-monthly basis. I would probably club on a quarterly basis with Sour Wonderland, Blue Christmas and on a bi-monthly basis club mixed berry pavlova if it came back. So currently in our catalogue is Vanilla Bean Buttercream and Black Raspberry and Vanilla. So they are the only two catalogue scents that I warmed through this month. Saying that if either of them, these are best sellers, I don't see them retiring any time soon but if either of those two scents retired anytime soon I would club vanilla bean buttercream I probably wouldn't club black raspberry and vanilla so scents that I would not club but I would possibly get one or two more bars again would be cinnamon pine, pine combs born to shine if it came back joy and wonder if it came back now the next scent I've kind of put in no I wouldn't get again but if I were to able to get Born to Shine again or Wasau Wonderland again I may pick up one bar for mixing purposes for this next scent even though it's popped into my no I wouldn't get again because it's not something I would warm by itself and that is Sweet Orange Pomanda when I mixed Sweet Orange Pomander with Born to Shine and with Sour Wonderland, I fell in love. You did not see me review that in this video. You will see that in my end of November's video because there were a couple of days. I filmed my end of November video a little bit late. So the first one or two days of my December warming is actually in my end of November video where I did warm with Sour Wonderland sweet orange pomanda and water shine so there are seven cents so one more than what's in my club that i would not purchase again that i can basically take or leave if i got them in a whiff box i would warm through them but they're not cents that i would go out of my way to purchase and don't really interest me so the seven cents that I went through that aren't really my cup of tea as I call this category are sweet orange pomander except for if I could get those other two scents to mix with mighty pine it was just too in your face pine tree there was not enough breaking it up very blessed my son loves it but it's a little bit too tart for me wild for four a little bit too astringent for me Hollyberry cinnamon, it's kind of one of those scents mm, I can take or leave. The same with sweet orange evergreen, it's another take it or leave it scent. And pineapple rose, well, we all know how I feel about pineapple rose. I just cannot do it. So, that is my breakdown of, I guess, 
Decembers, warming reviews and what I got through this month of Sensi. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. My next video I will hop on and we will go through numbers of how much I got through from my November melting bark, November, December melting bark with all my Christmas scents. We had a projection of what I wanted to get through. We're going to talk about that and I will show you what I have pulled aside based on my melting plan for 2022 for January and what my January melting basket would be. So until then, stay safe and bye for now.